hi so guys that's right it's time for secret saturday again if you've noticed that i'm wearing the same apparel as last time you have a very good eye yes that is right i am recording all of these at the same time because <laughs> i don't have a lot of time so you can expect this shirt and this face for another two videos. <laughs> I did change the hairdo for you though. Just just slightly. I'm changed it up a bit, you know, get gotta have some changes. If you are now just tuning in to Secret Saturday and you don't know what it is, basically it's a series that I started that you know, to tell you some factual things about me. Not necessarily secrets not hiding any skeletons under a rug or in the closet. It's just, you know, things that you may not know about me. So we can get to know each other more, a little bit better. Because I'm going to ask you guys to do some stuff in the comments so that I can, can share in the facts, me and you, right there. This week I'm going to talk about something that I've actually mentioned before but haven't gone into detail about. I can't remember the exact age, but I think it was 15. I, th I think it was 15 because I went to this all-girls school. Yes, we had the little skirts that were all plaid and stuff with the little logo and everything on it. I had to take public transit to and from the school. Every single day I'd get off at the same exit and yada 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 except for this one, this one day I fell asleep on the bus and <laughs> I woke up the exit right after my exit. I began to walk home from that exit and I remember it had a bunch of like food places along the way and me being lazy I took the shortest possible <laughs> shortest possible route which just happened to be right in front of I think it was like an Arby's or something I cut across and I remember this white truck being in the drive through line. I didn't really think anything of it. I just, you know, white truck getting him, getting him some Arby's. So I walked past it and I'm just going on my merry little way until I notice that this truck has started to follow me. It was one of those trucks with like the ladders on the side, you know, like a working truck, like somebody's working in that truck. He got to about my side we're going across like a parking lot and he gets to my side and he starts to talk to me and me being the nice person that i am like i i i have always i don't know if somebody talks to me and i have time or i can i talk back to them because it's polite my mom always raised me to be a you know a polite and friendly person so i i start talking back to this guy i i can't remember how the conversation started but I stop. I'm a good distance away from him because my mom has also told me, and this is her words, not mine, that you can't trust anyone because they will kill your ass. They will kill your ass. Do not trust anybody. So I'm a good distance away from his truck. He starts to tell me how, you know, beautiful I am and all of these complimenting things, which I will note at the time, I was a very, very depressed and sad kid. I was picked on all the time. I was about 85, 90 pounds at the time and people picked on me for being so thin. They picked on me because they said I was ugly. You know, I was flat chested, all these different things. I had a chip tooth it, right in the front, man, right in the front. So hearing somebody say nice things about me was nice, but like my mom said, not to trust anyone. So I continued to keep my distance. He then stated that his wife had just left him and he was incredibly lonely and he just, he needed someone to comfort him. So he asked me to get into his truck and comfort him. This guy, is trying to get me to get into his vehicle with him and that is like one of the number one things that my mom has always told me not to do do not get into somebody's vehicle because they will kill your ass i say look i am really sorry that that has happened to you you know i but I've got to go. I've, I've got friends and they're waiting for me and I, I've just got to go. 
So I start to walk away and he continues to follow me. He keeps at the same pace. He begins to offer me money to get into the car. I say, you know, no, I, need, I really need to go. I'm always on time. They're going to notice that I'm late. And then he ups it up to, I think he went to 600. He, he says, please just get, just get in the car. All you have to do is get in the car and comfort me a little, and then I'll give you $600. That's all you have to do. And I say, look, I've, I've got a boyfriend, lie, <laughs> and he is waiting for me. I'm supposed to meet him. I'm already, you know, late. He's going to know that something's wrong. I have, I've, I've got to go. And he looks me dead in the eye. <laughs> we are just looking at each other for a second. And I don't know why or what was going through my mind, but I took a good look at him and I just ran. <laughs> I just, I booked it. I ran as fast and as far away as I could. I think that my house was like a mile, <laughs> maybe further than a mile. I was at least a mile away from where I was and I just ran. I did not stop at all. I ran through yards, backyards, <laughs> across the fences. I ran as fast as I could directly to my house and I could hear this guy coming after me for a good while. He came after me until I, I don't even know how far he came after me, but I, I was fast back then. I, I ran until I got home. My dad left that house and he searched for that guy for so long. He was gonna beat the shit out of that guy. But they had me do a police report and, and everything. They had me file out all this, this paperwork and I don't think they ever found that guy. To this day, I, I don't know if he just, if he just needed someone to be there for him or if he was actually going to try to kill me. But I, I was, I was not going to take any chances. <laughs> I don't play, I don't play like that. I'm not the type of person who in a scary movie is like, let's go investigate this thing over here and get murdered. <laughs> if something is going down, I'm like, see ya. So, yeah, there, there's that. I almost possibly got abducted when I was 15. The more you know about me. If you ever find yourself in that situation, don't take any chances. That guy's feelings, you know, maybe he did just need someone to comfort him. Maybe his feelings did get hurt, but you don't need to take that chance. <laughs> if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, don't get in the vehicle. You see any type of vehicle that can can conceal you easily. Just stay away from those damn vehicles. I don't even go to ice cream trucks. Man, somebody could get you in an ice cream truck. Have you guys ever been in a similar situation? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, if you have enjoyed this video, finding out more about me, please let me know by hitting that like button. It really does help me out. Uh, it lets me know what kind of videos I should be putting on my channel and that you guys actually enjoy it. And it also shares the video so more people can watch it, which I really appreciate. So yeah, as always, I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye!